And what I want to do today is demonstrate you the method that I use for putting CA onto a pen blank. Now you can see here I've got a pen blank. It's been turned, it's been sanded. Uh, it needs another coat of sanding sealer on it, but before I do that, I want to find my pot and I want to change the bushings. These are a product called Delrin, and super glue doesn't stick to them, it's fabulous stuff. So let's just change those real quickly. This is a Taylor's Murfield Aries, or Aries, or however he wants to pronounce it, pen kit, by the way. Uh, that one goes on there, that one goes on there, and that one goes in there. Good, right. I'm going to put that back on and that back on. All this is doing is making just a little bit of space. Something to protect the lathe bed. Lock that in, lock that in. Quick coat of sanding sealer. And then while that's drying, I will reposition the camera so that you can possibly see better what I'm doing. This is ordinary cellular sanding sealer that has been thinned with cellular sealers. Um, I can't remember what the blank's called, but as you can see it's a plain type blank. <laughs> and it looks lovely. Right. Ever build industrial grade super glue. Medium thickness. Stuff that you get at tool station or um, I can't remember what the other one's called. Super glue activator. We are not going to use a lot of this. You'll see how much I use, and in fact, I might just move you out of the way so you don't get covered in in super glue activator. But it's a single spray per rub. Per layer, you do not need much super glue. I am going to put three drops. Might not use this. I think just leave those to one side. Three drops per coat and that is enough on this size of the bank. So I also don't put activator on the first coat and I will leave it to dry for a couple of minutes. I will whiz you through these because you don't want to stand here watching me applying CA because it's really 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 boring to watch but here we go. One, two, three drops. Turn it on and turn it down. I'm running at about 300. If you don't get full coverage on the first one, don't worry about it. It's not a problem. You can just leave it to run. You're going to put 16 coats on in total. I'll leave that to dry for a minute or so and then we'll go in with another three. One, two, three. And off. That's it, that's all you need. One, two, three. That's it, and again, I'm just going to let that dry. What did I do with that lid? There it is. So I will give that about five minutes. 
everything to dry. Just let it go. It's not going to take very long. Um, so we'll come back to you when it's done. Blank is dry. It's it's no big ridges in it either, but I have got some when you're spraying a car or you're spraying a lacquer finish, you, you, you get something called a, a orange peel finish, and I could see it in there and I could feel it in there. So we are going to flatten it basically. <clears throat> As the olive spread is not olive spread, I promise. It's just water. I'm going to start with a 600 grit mesh. Um, I don't use it for anything else because I hate the stuff, but it works really, really well on this. I'll show you it as soon as I've got a piece out. Oh, just put it in the window. That made it easier. So it's this stuff. And from here on in, I'm wet sanding everything. Let's have a piece of tissue. I want to dry it between layers because then we can see once we've got all the marks out. What we're going to do is once we do it with this it will go uh, dark and if there's any shiny bits still in there then we need to hit it again until they've gone. Um, I'm going to run the lathe in about 450. Now although it's bouncing, it's only bouncing because um, it's not centered on these. It's not a problem because I'm not using tools on it. I'm only using this stuff. So this will take 10 minutes or so. So don't be surprised if I speed this up again for the sake of brevity. But I am going to go through all of these and I'll show you in a minute. In fact, let's grab it. Let's stick it down there so I can go through which ones I'm going to do with you at the same time. And all we're going to do is we're just going to hit it Wash the paper regularly. So obviously you get that little build up of silt on there. This end, I don't know how well you can see this. Some at that end as well. So let's keep. Going. And that's why we use tissue. That looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, that'll do. Right. These are micro mesh. If you want to read them properly, just pause it now so that you can read that. Um, it starts at 1500 grit. Now these are MX grit. They are not P grit, which is what ordinary sandpaper is measured in. Now I believe that the 1500 or rust color is equivalent to about 600 in a P range. So we're going to go right the way through 1500, 1800, 24, 32, 36, 4000, 6000, 8000 and 12000. Um, after that we are going to use some burnishing cream. I do have Yorkshire Grit uh, Microfine but I have never used it on CA. I've only used it on lacquer. One day I'll do it but this is a pen for a client so this is the method I know and it works. Sometime I'll give it a go just to see what happens.
Sebastian. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. Bye bye. Uh, this is 8,000 Royal Blue. That's good, but we can make it better. Let's put this out of the way. And we're going to make it better, not with the Ultra Grip microfine, for reasons I've already stated, but with dry hands would help. Let's just dry this brand cob fully. Put this on when it's running slow. And you do that because it will fire stuff everywhere. But what we can do, let's turn it up a little bit. Let's get some action in there. And this should give it that final shine. Let's take it off again. There we go. That's better. How's that? Boom! I'm happy with that. That is really nice. That blank is lovely. Um, yeah, it's a really good finish actually. I'm quite, quite pleased with that. Let's just uh, put the lid back on the burnishing cream because if it goes everywhere it makes rather a mess. Now, some people will go ahead and put a wax or something else on top of that. I don't see any need. And there you go. It's completely free. So, I'll stick some video, I'll stick some pictures of the finished pen up um, at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Got any questions? Please, please, please ask. Thanks for watching.